now that three weekends of Lagos auditions have wrapped up, it is time for Coach Deji Aliu to choose his top 25 from the four events which took place in the finals. The boys 100 and 200 meters and the girls 100 and 400 meters. The finalists from each event are possible candidates for the track club and will now face Deji Aliu's decisions. First up are the decisions for the boys 100 meters. The first four finishers, Onengi, Peter, David, and Tolu all qualify by right for the MOC Track Club. Coach Deji Aliu has a more difficult decision with the rest of the 100 meter finalists. After much deliberation and very anxious moments for Chijoke, Moses, Emobo, and Osaze, they are given a much welcome reprieve and also make the Track Club but this means less spaces for everyone else. The first three in the boys 200 meters, Ese, Kolawale and James are also selected for the track club. But not everyone makes it this time as the last three 200 meter finalists miss out. The fourth and fifth place finishers, Paulinus and Saeed just make it. Next up is the girls 100 meters. Ruth, Moyoshuri and Omolayo while undoubtedly the most impressive female sprinters on display on decision day and they sail through without any trouble. With 16 places already filled, the decisions start getting a little tricky for Coach Deji. Um, can you hold on please? He decides to consult with his assistant coaches Gani Adegboye, Musa Deji and Ayo Dauda. Okay, guys. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm really having a big problem deciding on it. After a few minutes of deliberation, Coach DG is ready to continue with his picks. As you can see, it's difficult making, you know, arriving at a decision. Because um, we just want to retain just 25. And um, I don't know, it's kind of difficult. Adam and Onoa, please step forward. 14-year-old Promise Edem and 15-year-old Gift Onoha finished 4th and 5th in the girls' 100 meters. Um, we've arrived at this decision to have both of you as member of our track club. So you're welcome to the club and uh, congratulations. So how does it feel to finally make it to the team? Now it's time to decide on the last three finishers from the girls' 100 meters final. Clara, Ajayi, Tomisin, Oladipo, step forward please. One thing about me, when I see potential, from a distance, I can tell. That's why I'm still finding it difficult to arrive at a decision. So what I'm going to tell you guys right now is, you are not in, you are not out. In the final category, the girls 400 meters, only the top two finishers, Victoria and Blessing, are chosen to join the track club. With the decisions for all four events completed and just 20 out of the top 25 spots filled, there is time for one final twist on decision day. The assistant coaches, led by Musa Deji, have been tasked with giving wild cards to the final five athletes to join the track club. Thank you for your effort today. Already we have uh, 20 athletes being selected. So we have five more athletes to select. And these five more athletes we are selecting is based on the athlete's future. So first on our list, we are calling uh, Tommy Sin. So the second athlete today is Ladik Ball. 
So the third on the list, Shegun Aibe. So the fourth person also, Chikoze Abi. Please join the team, please. So last on our list, ladies and gentlemen, Lawa. So I want you guys to go back and believe in yourself. We all see again in three months' time. Have a nice day, please. Thank you. Actually, I was not in the first edition, so I just came in. So I believe you guys you know have what it takes to be a champion. So please, this is an opportunity being given to you at least. Don't misuse it. Use it well. The person you are working with is a world star. Which even me, I would like to work with him. Unfortunately, the age is not on my side again. So you people have the opportunity now to work with him. So go there, put in your best and fight out. Best of luck. How did the winners of each event on Decision Day feel about their victories and what does the future hold for them? I thank God. God, no, I thank God first. And then proper handling, basically, by very good coaches. Always in my mind, going into the semi-finals. I didn't use much power. I just basically wanted to qualify for the finals. And then when I got to the finals, <laughs> I need to well, I'll be running with, so I just had to run like properly and then use all that energy. I feel so excited, I'm happy because I didn't believe I could win it. Because right from the beginning I was fatigued. I feel great, I feel good. And I thank God for it. For the semi-final, to me, I just knew that I had a good start and I just tried to follow the gun on the whistle and just continue and put in all what my coach has said into practice. That's all. I also did the same thing in the final. All I was thinking was just get to the finishing line faster and to use my hands faster and get to 20 meters to go. I feel very happy, excited. When I was about going for the race, dude, they said the straight finals. I, I saw faces and I was like, Victoria, can you do this? But I got determined and with my team, they were like, Victoria, you can do this. Actually, thank God. I ran the race, I ran my best. I came first at the end of it. I said, if only I can get to the finishing line, I will be the happiest person because I strive down to the finishing line. I hope, by the grace of God, that I, I go higher from this, from this top sprint. I hope it takes me like a whole lot. I hope he does a whole lot. I've been training for about two years now, like pro training, two years now. I've been determined and then and dedicated to my sports because I take to what my coach, what my coach says. I follow the instruction. Next level for me is just trying to see myself going to the top. This year, I'm planning to go going to the junior championships, likely, and for next year, the Olympics. That's in my mind. Olympics already. You think you can make it? Yeah, I think I can make it, yeah. It's a tough competition with the seniors. Yeah, I know, but it comes from the heart. You think you can beat the seniors? What makes you so confident? God makes me confident and my training and my determination, that's all. I think this top sprinters will take me down to Olympics. I'll be able to run and represent my country. So you're very young, you think you can make the Olympics oh. next year? By the grace of God, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> By the grace of God, I can make the Olympics champion. This one or the next one? This one. If I can go. If I can go. Ah. <laughs> the day went very well. Honestly, I'm really impressed with your performance today. Everybody. These are the Olympians, these are the world champions, these are the world beta we'll be looking forward to see in Nigeria in the near future. Bulk of the people that will be controlling Nigerian track and field, as far as I'm concerned, must come from this group. And 
And so begins the journey of the Lagos Top 25 and their quest to become future Olympians. They will not have to wait long to test their mettle against some of the best athletes across Nigeria as the top sprinter train goes nationwide with auditions in Ibadan and Enugu up next. They're out of the starting blocks now, but the race before them will likely not be a sprint, but a marathon. <laughs>